All right, I'm very excited for our next segment. It is um, our trifle. We've been talking trifle and desserts and in peaches and cream. It's a quintessential Christmas dessert. Uh, we're joined by Abigail Donnelly. She's the food director of Wool- Woolworths Taste Magazine. Um, amongst other things, and Brett Pete Goffwood is celebrity chef. Um, and uh, we're going to be talking about this fantastic trifle that had Melanie all distracted and has the magic camera moving around. Won't you just tell us uh, a little bit about the one that you've made, uh, which is a real okay. one? Okay, so, so we've got a layered, it starts in the bottom, there's a layer of, of, a, of jelly, which is a raspberry and strawberry jelly. Mm-hmm. Then there's uh, um, a layer of um, uh, sponge, which has been soaked in um, in a Tokai, which is a Hungarian dessert wine. Oh, wow. Then there's a layer, layer of white chocolate um, custard, another layer of sponge, a dark chocolate um, custard, another layer of sponge, a final layer of the raspberry jelly, and then cream. And we've topped it with some fresh raspberries, some shards of white chocolate, um, some little bits of broken up meringue, and um, some raspberry powder. Sounds absolutely fantastic, sure. and it looks just <laughs> as divine. Um, do you vary the way that you make your trifle from time to time, or is this specifically for our conversation today? This was specifically, we wanted something that was quite Christmassy, so we went with mm-hmm. the colors of red and white, mm-hmm. um, and raspberries are in season at the moment, and, and raspberries and chocolate are a great combination. So we kind of, yes. it, it, kind of it kind of made itself in that regard as to what we were going to put into it. It was, it was raspberries or plums. I'm with um, you. And then the raspberries and the chocolate combination was what was what swayed us. This trifle looked like it went to private school. For many <laughs> yeah. of us, yeah. for many of us, where you've got that beautiful sort of compote with the raspberry, yes. we were just you know put all jelly, red yes. or green. Um, you know, I'd be curious to hear from Abigail. You know, your recipes, for example, have you ever done a trifle recipe? I have done many trifle thousands, recipes. Thousands. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> every year. Um, yeah, every year, many from peanut butter, salted caramel, ganache. I've used profiteroles, I've used madeleines, I've used Swiss roll. Wow. But at Christmas, I'm a pure traditionalist. Okay. And yeah, I just always make my grand's trifle. What does that comprise? So that is lots of sponge cake, yes. uh, like a Madeira cake, which I soak overnight with sherry. You Ooh. could use brandy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, and it goes all yummy and soggy. And then I let that, as I say, overnight. And then I use red jelly. Yes. Yes, packets of red jelly. <laughs> but I stew down plums. Those oh, beautiful yum. red tart Ooh, plums. Those are lovely yeah. And I make the jelly so thick that you actually don't really see jelly, but the plums just set in it. Oh, so that's it's really stunning. fruity. And then set that over. And then let that really set nicely, and but with the perfect wobble, not too too much. Yes. And then I make a homemade custard. Okay. So the and I'm not talking a chefy peat custard, like a creme anglaise. <laughs> I'm talking like out of the out of the packet. Yes. With, yeah. You know the corn flour yes. slurry one with milk, and I let that chill, and then I smooth that over, and then just before serving, I put on some whipped cream. I love it. Yeah, so and there, it's just what we grew up with, and yeah. it's better the next day. It's better mm-hmm. in the middle of the night. It's um, yeah. yeah. It's, my mom makes one every <laughs> Christmas without fail. Yes. If, even if I invite her to my house for Christmas and say I've made dessert, she will always bring a trifle. This Christmas is not the same without my mom's trifle every year. Yeah. Is, is hers classic? Hers, oh no, hers is fantastic. I'm going yeah. around saying my mother makes magnificent trifle. But not the same <laughs> that I don't love no my mother's so. trifle. <laughs> And I think my mom is listening, and it is her plum jelly recipe. Okay, we will, we'll okay, make let's sure. give the right credits yeah. here. Okay, Otherwise, fa- there will be no trifle at Christmas. Indeed. Yeah. And we can't, there is no Christmas without trifle, right? Yeah, exactly. Correct. So it seems as though there's some quintessential requirements. You've got to have a spongy cake, you've yeah. got to have the custody or creme, creme anglaise yes. flavor, and you've got to have the wobble. Um, some people, one of our listeners, let us know that they put almonds in theirs. What, what is that about the mm. crunch? Um, yeah, is that it's something just that's a textural appro- thing. I think yeah. you, need, yeah. you need something with a little bit. That's why we did the, the meringue and the, and the white chocolate shot. Uh-huh. Otherwise, it's it, it just a bit too mushy. I think that's one of the problems. Yes. You need to think of it from a from a, from a a texture point of view that there, there needs to be something that's crispy in there. And often that has to go on the top because it just gets soggy if you try and put anything in the middle. Yeah. How do these layers not break? Well, they must break. Um, what I mean is <laughs> only, when you, only when you dish up. Yeah, only when you dish up. Yes. But how is it... The things aren't sinking. 
Sorry, I'm not. I'm a, um, I'm a cook more than a. You set them baker. layers by oh, layer. You do it yes. layer by layer. So, yeah. okay. so when we, we, we made, made this jelly, this is not packet jelly. This is a, a, a raspberry and basil Perish compote, before. and we put we set with gelatine. <laughs> so we put that in the bottom, and we let that set first. Yes. And then we put so we put each layer on and let it set, oh, and then okay. build it. You can't do it all in one because otherwise it'll, it'll just collapse. Mm. I mean, that's the the, the the beauty and the, the the downside also to trifles is they only look fantastic. At the beginning. That's the thing. Once the first person tucks into it, it looks like a dog's breakfast. In a glass bowl. <laughs> in a glass bowl. In so everyone can see the layers exactly. being crushed. And it looks terrible once someone's tucked into it. But it's a thing of beauty until then. Yeah. It really is. And, yeah. and we've all been taking uh, multiple photos of it because it is absolutely a thing of it's beauty. It's a showstopper. Now, tell me, I, you know, I've asked you just when we were off air, actually, but I'm curious to, to uh, let the question breathe. The canned peach tradition yeah. um, is something that Mario was saying. It's your aunt, hey? His aunt puts the canned peaches yeah. in, and for me, it reminds me of my gran, and I think my mom also used to do it. Yeah. Um, is there is there any faux pas to that? No, I think I think it needs fruit, and I think mm. it's it's a case of a lot of fruit. Um, you need to cook it, otherwise, it doesn't set with gelatine. Yes. So so either you're going to have to make your own stewed fruit by cooking it as, as Abigail does. Yes. But the best way around that is to use tin fruit. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's oh, that mixed tin fruit. I remember yeah. that when yes. I was young. Oh, a lot Jesus. of those trifles used to have that, and then yeah. you used to like have a kind of a little fight because there was only two cherries in the can. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. What's that about? Is there someone in the factory just like? I don't know. Yeah. It was a treat, I suppose, because yeah. they were expensive. Uh, that's true. Yeah. But what's also nice is Pete was saying for texture is woolly sell peanut butter, uh, not peanut butter, peanut butter. You say sell peanut butter, but <laughs> peanut um, brittle. Brittle. Oh yeah. And the cashew brittle. Oh, and then you that's just crunch that. perfect. That's just crunching. Good. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it doesn't have to be like uh, take a lot of time to make. Yeah. I'm with you, you can do your little hacks and cheats. Is yeah. it a relatively inexpensive dish to make? Or is it quite well, yeah, pizza, it can be. Yeah, it? Look, uh, this one, <laughs> no, this not one maybe, not, maybe not this one. <laughs> maybe not this one. But, but yeah, I mean, if you think about it, it's also something you can buy you can buy virtually all of the parts and assemble it yourself right you can you can obviously you could buy the jelly and the powder you can buy the tin fruit and you mix those two together and you've got the fruit layer you can buy the custard um you can buy sponge ready made you can yes. buy cream whipped cream in mm. a can and you can buy peanut butter you could literally be a complete idiot in the kitchen buy all the ingredients and simply assemble it if you really, really Excellent. had that, to. That yeah. was really where I was leaning towards. Okay, okay. Yeah. It, 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 it is idiot proof, yes. Yeah. And no, 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 I'm talking for myself, really. Okay, and everything I'm sure available at Woolies. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, you um, think we should buy yourself a nice Swiss roll. Just slice that and you line yes. the bowl with a Swiss yeah. roll. You don't have to be a, 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 a deft baker or a pastry. Although my guy's Tyron, I just said I'd mention Tyron because he slaved at this yesterday. Oh. This is his, this is his thing of beauty. Um, um, but yeah, you can you can knock it up quite easily. And you Fantastic. can use finger biscuits as well. Yeah, finger biscuits. Oh, oh yes, I remember Ginger those. Gingerbread, brownies, no. ready made. Yeah, I mean Madeira cake. Buy Madeira, Madeira yeah. cakes for one of the best because I love it. even when it's soaked up with, yes. with and again the the, the, the booze is is optional. It's not essential. Yes, that's right. But what it does what it does what you do find is if you're not going to use alcohol, which is also cool, you might want to put some kind of sugar syrup on because what you don't want is to have these dry bits of sponge cake. in there. Yeah. But oh. Madeira is perfect because it holds its shape and it really is yeah. that nice vanilla yeah. sponge is lovely. Mm. The, the metal lines you mentioned I imagine also hold their shape decently. Yeah. Yes they do, yeah. they do, yes. they're really good. Yeah. Um, Lynette says I add green fig jam pieces, oh. snippets yes. of ginger jam and sprinkles of coconut to lovely. my trifle. That's pretty cool. Gorgeous. That's amazing, yeah. I wonder if she does that on the top probably. Mm. The the, yeah. the coconut? Yes. Oh you yeah. mean all of those and, are, and the ginger jam? The top. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's very Christmassy and yeah. it is. Yeah. a nice little garnish wise as yes. well. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of your garnish I mean that white chocolate is just, it looks incredible Incredible. What what are the, is that um, those? Um, oh no, I've lost the term of the nuts. Is that pistachio? No, that's, no. those aren't nuts. I, I kind of wasn't sure. So who might have nut allergies or anything like that? I didn't want it to to let anyone not have okay, any. Okay, so we can't kill the intern after all. Yeah. All right. So these are just these are little shards of meringue. So we do a, okay. a thin layer of meringue that we that we bake on a sheet, and then we just crumb. We break up the meringue, so that gives you a little crunchy texture. Have you finished taking photos? Because we are yeah, still taking pictures, and now. I'm going to unfortunately dig no, in no, that's what it's and for. change the entire thing. Just All right, so we're having a bit of, I know, I feel so naughty. Um, I need to do this, but at the same time, be near the microphone. <laughs> Let's bring this a little closer. Very excited. Um, to our insurers, there is no food here. <laughs> this looks amazing. Now, the, the, what's the trick to dishing up trifle? Because there you want to get every single layer, yeah. but this runs very deep. Yeah. 
And oh also, the li- Pete's been very clever, or his chef Tyron has, because he's layered it up. So That's he, it. You don't have to go too deep. Dig right. But you know what? I'm bottom. looking yeah. at the creme fraiche. I mean, the right. creme anglaise, excuse yeah. me. Yes. But it's fine. Look, the secret the to getting year. all the layers is two helpings. <laughs> I love it. Um, so may I that? pass these round, or can I just have a quick you taste? You can get stuck okay. in there. Maybe cake? something. Uh, sorry. Is that chocolate cake? Yes. Ooh, oh, wow. it looks amazing. Yeah. And I'm a person who doesn't even like sweet things. Um, all right, so we've got some raspberry, a bit of the chocolate cake, some of the um, white chocolate that has the crumbled meringue. Yes. Okay. I still think trifle is best the next day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, well, this, yeah. we made this yesterday. Yes. When it's yeah. really it drunk. has to sit overnight. Yes, yeah, so make a double, make a <laughs> huge yeah. batch, or actually make two. <laughs> this is absolutely delicious. It's Moorish. Um, as your breakfast host, I'm always happy to taste things on your behalf, as <laughs> the <laughs> ANC always says about champagne.